What's going on guys, it is Grid here, I'm here today with episode 14 of the Unbeaten Run, we're currently on a 59-1-0 Unbeaten streak. As you can put it out on your screen, we have a bit of a different team going into the series. I haven't changed the team for this series, I've just changed it, this is my new competitive team for now. Um, I've played two GFNE Cups within, I've won both, so, you know, I'm liking the team at the moment. So, previously, we had Neuer in goal, we had a back four of... Um, who did we have? We had Jerome Boateng, Team Nier Ramos, Jordi Alba and Dijkmaier with James Rodriguez, Hullet and Vieira midfield with the same front three but we had the 83 Griezmann up top. Now we have the 84 Handanovic, 87 Chiellini, 79 Juan Jesus, um, 82 Alexandro, 78 Abate and Makisio on the right hand side of the midfield with the team of the season Griezmann up top. So some of you may be wondering why I have Jesus. I mean, I could have had a Barzagli, team of season Barzagli, Miranda, um, Manalas, etc. There's quite a few defenders that you can use. But I just like his card. I don't know what it is. Obviously, having two, I didn't even realise he was a left-footed player. But we have him on the left-hand side. Um, we have two left-footers. Well, we have three, actually, in the defence. But we have two in the centre. So, I don't know. This is my new team. I like it. Hopefully, you guys... You know, don't mind a little bit of a change. Um, so, yeah, like I said, we're on a 59-1-0 and being streak. We need to win one game, basically, and we hit the 60 mark, and then we have 40 to go. Um, but, yeah, this is the team, and, yes, let's get into uh, game number one. So, guys, getting into game number one. If we win this game, we hit the 60 mark. Um, we come up against two legends straight away in the likes of uh, Teddy Sheringer and Robbie Fowler, and then he has Inform Kaka at CDM, which is a bit of an... Uh, Bit of an interesting choice, that's for sure. So it's a basically a full Brazilian team with the two legends down the middle. So overall in these games, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't play too well. I'm not sure why. Um, it was my first set of games on FIFA, but I don't really play FIFA much nowadays anyway. So I don't know. Even though the score lines might be a bit, you know, one-sided in your guys' opinions, and that's maybe that was a nice goal actually by Griezmann. I'm not gonna lie, but. The, the result for me doesn't always um, reflect on how well I think I'm playing or how well I'm performing. So, I mean, I could win 10-0 and I still think I'm playing pretty bad. That's just the way I think. That's just the way it is. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't playing well. It's like things were, it just didn't feel right. You know when you're playing FIFA and then, you know, you're playing, you just, something, something's not clicking. Um, that was the case. I mean, even though I'm saying that, I'm 5 nil up. So, you know, so I'm sure some of you guys will mention that in the comments. But like I said, uh, it just didn't feel right throughout the whole games we did play. So just bear that in mind. 5-0, um, 40 second minute. I'm not going to lie, I actually thought he was going to quit. Um, so, yeah, we're 5 nil up. Um, and at this point, you know, it's... Game over, let's be honest. A nice little goal. Drag back back and forth. And then uh, slots it in the game. Finishes 6-0. Heading into the second game now. Three at the back formation. You don't really see that many uh, three at the back formations nowadays. Personally, anyway. Um, he has the man of match at He has the upgraded Griezmann. Uh, Carlos Vaya, Conor Pianca. Um, so a decent-ish Bundesliga team. Not too good um, considering he's got three at the back. But another nice goal there by Griezmann. His team of the season card is on another level. Um... So I had him in my fatal team, uh, the first fatal team I had. It, you know, he, he carried me with that bronze team. So that's the reason I had him. It's the reason I got him back. You know, I thought I'd try him out again. It, the pace upgrade between his 83 card and his 95 is absolutely ridiculous. So definitely, definitely recommend you guys um, picking him up. I think he's around about 450. Um, I actually might do a squad build around him um, because he's so good. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely recommend getting him if you have the coins, obviously. Uh, but yeah, 3-1 um, in the 61st minute. We play ball through to Ronaldo and we finish the game off and it's 4-1. Heading into the um, third game now, we have a full blue team apart from... Um, who is that at right back? Is that Iviala? Whatever his name is, and Courtois in goal on uh, 7 chemistry. So I think that's a full uh, blue MLS team. I mean, when I saw it, I was like, oh God, this is going to be an interesting game, that's for sure. So 7 minutes in. We open the scoreline with Hullet, and uh, he slots it in there to make it 1-0. Hullet again on the ball in the midfield, does a ball roll, um, it escapes the challenge, passes it into George Best, and the keeper flops, and it goes underneath him and to make it 2-0. George Best on the left-hand side again, does a step over the ball, does a uh, backwards body frame, ball roll to get the angle, as I always say, and uh, makes it 3-0 at this point. It's pretty much game over, but it, to be fair, he scores a goal off the post, though. I thought my player was going to block it there, but... You know, I never really seem to get them blocks in when it counts. So he makes it 3-1. We do an LBY over the top. His defender just flops again. 
and Neymar's there to tap it in and it's 4-1. At this point, it's game over, but, you know, he has another chance and he scores just like that and it's 4-2 with, like, 20-odd minutes to go, but straight from kickoff, we play a driven pass into Ronaldo, do the LB sprint boost, do the step over, backwards body feint, do a uh, roulette, not a roulette, sorry, a burber spin, and slots it in. So it's game over now, 5-2, but he gets, um, he gets a chance here with uh, his guy, Slots it in 5-3. It's back and forth game, really. Going into the fourth game now, we're currently on a 62-1-0. Uh, Obviously, if we win this, it's a 63-1-0. Pink Roy's, Pink Abamyang, some decent blues there. So, like I said, it's going to be a difficult game. You know, if you, if you can win them, uh, you know, them Royces, them Abamyangs, then he must be some half-decent player at least. So, we open the score, I know. Takes us a while, though. 32nd minute, four minutes later, though. It, for some reason, that's gone in. Um... Hits it across my keeper and makes it 2-1. But for some reason, I've missed out one goal. I'm not sure why, but we make it 2-1. Then we make it 3-1 with a half-time substitution in at Neymar. 71st minute, though, does a triple tap across the box. His player just about gets it just behind him and uh, makes it 3-2 with 12 minutes to go in. And, you know, I don't really want to draw. Draw, in my eyes, is kind of like a loss, especially in a series like this. Um, but, you know, we have that kind of um, barrier. If we do draw... You know, we get away with it a bit because it's only if we uh, it's, we do a series until we lose, basically. So, um, yeah. So, I think this is a 63-1-0. Heading into uh, a, probably the last game, 64-1-0. If we actually do win this, we come up against a 4-3-3-2 with the one CDM Bundesliga team with the likes of Schala, uh, Muller, Thiago, Vidal, Gundahan, Boateng, Kummels. So, a full, full Bundesliga team. I'm not really sure about having Muller up top on his own. Um, but I would probably have like a Bamiang or something like that. But we do a nice little corner there. Driven pass. We get very lucky though. Griezmann does it across the keeper. And his defender uh, blocks it and hits it into his own net. 45th, uh, 40th minute, sorry. We get a bit lucky again with a rebound. But Griezmann there with that massive leap. Uh, heads it home and makes it 2-0. And... I thought it was game over, to be honest, because the way I was playing, he gets a corner, though, heads it in, and it's game on until Neymar comes on from a substitution and slots it in. But, you know, he's not he's not going down lightly. He gets a bit... How lucky is this, though? Like, come on. Some of the goals I can see on another level, but, um, yeah, he does, like, a little scoop on the ground to control it and slots it in. But uh, we make it 4-2, and, uh, yeah, that is it, guys. That is game over. We finished the episode with a 64-1-0 unbeaten streak, and he finished off with a... A corner header there. But um, yeah. Anyway guys. That is me for the video. Thank you for watching. As always. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here. Leave a like on the video. If you enjoyed it. And uh, leave me a comment. In the comment section below. We finished off the episode. 64. 1 and 0. We're nearly there guys. We're nearly on the 100. Uh, 100 and B and streak. But um, yeah. Until next time guys. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>